Good day everyone and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today, a simple enough drawing, we're going to draw a battle droid from the Star Wars series. And it sort of starts off with this sort of upside down water drop from which we will add some football player shoulders. So these little paddings here, uh, metal pads that are like triangles on either side. One on the right side here as well, that curves up like this. And there you go. And then of course there's these uh, fists that they have, which is sort of two fingers that look like uh, rectangles with uh, curved edges and uh, sort of like this. These are his fingers pointing right at us. And then he'll have another outstretched arm uh, that comes from this uh, sort of circular shape and then goes down to this triangular shape. And uh, we'll set up his blasters here, two little circles above his fingers with holes in them. So you, they look like donuts with a thickness. And uh, then we'll add his thumb. And there's his thumb here, a little triangular shape. It's very important to uh, imagine the shapes that your characters are made of. And when drawing, drawing those shapes to begin with. And then we'll erase the lines that we don't need uh, within these shapes. So his face is sort of smushed between these two little uh, rectangular rounded shape. So there's another one on this side, on the left side here. It was sort of down here, and this is his face. Although it is snout, his little nose that has a curved end, sort of like Snoopy. You can sort of see Snoopy in there, right? Snoopy! Um, and put his uh, visor right here, so he sees through this. And uh, we'll color in his the bottom of his, his face. And uh, we'll, these edges are rounded, which are also a little flat, so we'll color those in later on. Um, there's a rounded part up here. And we'll color that in too, real quick. Now, some of you have said in the past, and I, I agree, that I, you think I draw too quickly. And that's fine, I understand. I'm, I, however, will not draw a little slower, because um, I don't want my videos to last two hours. But the, the idea here is that you control YouTube fully. So hit the pause button, play button, rewind button, uh, watch it once fully, watch my drawing once completely, and if you want to draw it, watch it again. And that would allow you to uh, know the next steps one after another. So he's got his chest plate here, and this is where his uh, chest ends. And we'll add a bit more of a thickness later on here on the edge, really, just like yeah, a little bit thicker and going up like that. That makes more sense. And then there's a little bit of a rounded circular shape here. We'll get rid of those lines in the middle. And uh, no, I do not really erase with my hand. I do use an eraser, and uh, it's just boring to watch me erase. So that's why I use that hand technique. Shoop, just swipe the hand and everything disappears. Uh, but that's all done in, in editing, okay? So it's nothing you can reproduce at home. It's just a video trick. All right, so now we're going to add the bottom section to this robot. Um, he sort of ends with a circular pattern, a little curve. And he's got these uh, secondary parts here that has a uh, sort of egg shape on top like this to the top of his abdomen. And it curves back down in here and goes back up to the top. And there's, of course, a little bit of a thickness to this one on this side too, on the left side. So we'll reproduce that line and curve that over like that. There we go. Looks like different parts now. And then we'll erase those lines in there. And then we're going to add a bit of shading to this character. So he is metallic, and we have to uh, color in those metallic uh, shading. Uh, keep in mind that these things exist. Uh, I have drawings that represent the metal. And so if you want to go see my uh, uh, knight in shining armor, the knight in shining armor has really nice reflections. Uh, my terminator drawing has really nice metallic reflections. So you can go check those out, and they might help you in drawing this character here, which is a little bit simpler to draw. All right, so we're gonna, once I've set in my foundation lines, I retrace them with a much darker line. The idea here, and for those of you who've been watching me for a while, understand this, 
Um, the idea here is to draw really light lines so that later on I can erase them easily if I need to, uh, and then go over them with a darker line. Now you can even do that with a, a marker if you like. Draw with pencil first and, and put marker down later on, and this will allow you to really control that drawing. Light lines first, dark lines afterwards. So let's color these portions in here. I have a few little details, just blasters that lay on top of his forearms and, and hands. Color that in, make a little bit of a shadow here. So let's imagine that the light comes from the top right. And so everything up to the bottom left, oh sorry, I mean uh, top left, and everything at the bottom right needs to be dark. Everything on top left needs to be bright. Everything top right needs to be dark. Does that make sense? If the light's coming from the top left, we need to make everything top, uh, bottom right dark. And we'll add a bit of uh, reflection here. Add a bit more detail to this thumb. We'll retrace these lines quite simply, just like that. Um, some people will say, hey, this drawing doesn't really look like a battle droid. Um, but it's really up to you to draw whatever the heck you want. So it's your drawing. You invent it. Create it the way you like. Make your par par character uh, more aggressive, nicer looking. Give him a, mu give him a mustache. I, I don't, it doesn't really matter. The whole point is you're inventing stuff. You're being creative. And... Uh, through drawing, you can be really creative. So just do, go crazy, you know, have fun, invent stuff. Life sometimes is a little boring, and so with drawing, we can make it a lot of fun. Be, be creative. And here we go, and add a bit of uh, metallic reflections here on his, on his hand. And, in, you know, you know my technique. Generally, I'll draw on the far left side over here. And the idea is to not smudge my drawing with my with my hand. And as you see, I'm drawing here this arm on the right side, on the left side. Pardon me. Um, most of my palm will be scrubbing the drawing that I've already begun. So the idea would have been to start on the left side first, so that I don't uh, smash my drawing with my palm and smoosh everything. Smoosh is actually a technical term. You can look it up. <laughs> smoosh your drawing. Um, for lefties. Well, the lefties uh, should start on the right side and draw towards the left. That way we're not uh, smudging our drawing. Of course, we can use that paper technique that I've used in the past. And uh, that paper technique is just to add a piece of paper bet between your palm and your drawing. That will allow to protect your drawing as you're drawing along. That being said, I will, ne I will use neither today. I will be brave and just draw from uh, right to left, even though I'm a right-handed illustrator. So. Let's add these, this thumb here, a little rectangular shape, and then we'll add a little bit of another piece here that folds over. And oh yeah, I forgot I have Iron Man drawings too, and those Iron Man drawings represent a lot of chrome and reflections. So check those out. Go see, go see on my YouTube channel. They're really cool, I think. Anyway, I, I find those ones really well, uh, well drawn. So we'll add a little bit of an elbow uh, articulation piece here. Color that in, a little light gray. There you go, look at that, very good. A little bit of a thickness here, kind of need to add there. Give that a little bit of a, a depth to that uh, part. And the thickness. And the thickness under here will be dark because the light can't reach that section. And we'll retrace this a little bit darker now because I'm happy with these foundation lines. We'll just retrace those in. I just bonked the camera with my head. Thank you, Mr. Camera, for bonking my head. Um, I'm going to color this in here like that. There we go. You can put in a lot more detail if you like. All you need to do is uh, go to Google or, or Bing or whatever your preferred search engine is, Yahoo Search, and search for Battle Droid. And you'll find some images online that you can you know, help in producing this picture. Um, just go ahead, you know, go nuts, find whatever info you can find and use it in your drawings. It's not cheating, you know, cheating would be me putting the piece of paper on top of a drawing and tracing it. That's sort of cheating. I, I can learn something from that, but it's easier to use your eyes and look at something and reproduce them. So, you know, I've done my bit of research, I've gone through the web, I've, I've looked up a whole bunch of different images, and now I'm making something that I want to combine here. So these, this arm has multiple pieces, starting from the shoulder pad here. I guess it's laser proof. And then of course this forearm here on the left on the right side. 
I'm mixing up my right and my left today. Right side. This is the right side. This here will be black. Nice and dark. Push that back a little bit in the drawing. Then we'll come back to his uh, shoulder pad and rotator cuff here. And uh, color that in. There you go. Remember to pause this part. Pause this part on YouTube so that you can catch up. I'm pretty sure you can't color as fast as I can in this sense where I'm fast forwarding the video. So just pause it and you can catch up later on. So I'm, I'm sure you Star Wars fans out there are excited for Episode 7. Yeah, baby! Episode 7 is uh, coming up next year. Uh, we've seen the trailer come out recently. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what this is all going to be about. Um, that lightsaber with a with a hilt on it is pretty cool. I think it's uh, something we've never seen before. It makes a lot of sense where, you know, if you don't want to get your hand chopped off by one of those uh, lightsabers, then you may want to have a hilt to protect it from that blade from sliding up to your hand. So there's you know, some kind of a uh, fancy idea. People from the future sure aren't thinking ahead, are they? they we've been using hilts forever here on Earth. All right, let's uh, retrace some of these lines, make them nice and dark. It's nice the reflection lines here. It's a little bit darker. Over here, don't forget, don't forget these lines. And drawing is all about building up layers. You start with a base layer, you know, light lines, and then you build upon them and build upon them. And at the end, when you're happy, you have a really awesome drawing. This drawing here isn't very difficult. It's all made of very basic shapes. However, if you are just starting drawing for the first time and you're watching me for the first time here, um, maybe it's a good idea to go find some simpler videos. Uh, but uh, don't be discouraged. Do this one. You know, have at it. I'm here to help you guys out and learn all kinds of tricks to, to drawing. The idea is, however, you know, I don't want to discourage you. So if you're starting out in drawing and this is the first drawing you see of mine, go check out my YouTube channel, Paolo Moroni, on, on YouTube. and um, all you need to do is look for the pumpkin, which is an easy drawing. You've got the, the mango, your little saber is an easy drawing. Uh, you can look for the 3D letters, you can look for the basic 3D shapes, and those will give you a, a good way of starting off. There's the lemons, there's a bunch of little drawings out there that exist already. They'll sort of build up your uh, courage into going into the world of drawing. But as I said, if you want to go ahead and attack this one, feel free to do it. Uh, there is no exam at the end of this video, so you know <laughs> everybody passes. As long as you pick up the pencil and draw, and try to draw daily, then hey, you're a, a winner. You're a winner in my book, anyway. All right, so we're going to color this along. Add those vertical lines here, or horizontal rather, and then retrace this contour line here, and add a little line here. Now yeah, it's coming along. Make this nice and dark like this. And then we'll color this part in. And then we'll add a bit of a uh, chrome or, it's not really chrome, it's more like of a brush metal kind of feel for these guys. So we'll add a little bit of a uh, metallic reflection here. Making sure to leave a little bit of white. The white is the white light reflection on this robot. Robot, robot. That's my nephew likes saying that, robot, robot. I think he wishes he was a robot. Robot, robot. So we'll draw the bottom part here, just like that. And we'll add two vertical lines here. It's sort of like, a, I guess it's a reinforced bend in his uh, abdomen. And then here's his leg, right leg, the top of it anyway. We'll, we'll do his left one too, but first there's a, the sort of rotating bit that goes here. And then it attaches to his leg with this little thing. It's like a piston. Piston. That reminds me of uh, Cars. You know Cars? The, the animated cartoon series Cars? Or cartoon movie? Movie. And where he goes, Piston. He did what in the cup? Piston cup. And you know, the piston cup was a piston. I, I thought that was a funny joke. Let's erase this. And then we'll make the thickness of this leg, just like that, nice dark lines. And we'll color this in in a few seconds. But first I want to complete a little bit more details on the left side here. 
and then just like that and then we line all the way down and then this piston will be on top of this so here's the piston like that like that and then we'll color this in make the thickness there make another circle make another circle make another circle just adding details you know, make it look more realistic and color that in it's nice and dark back there and then we can add uh, a few colored pieces back here to detach every one of those little curls and curves and circles. I want the bottom half to be a little bit darker so it looks like it's underneath and behind the robot top. Which makes a little bit of sense, doesn't it? And I'll color this in here with a little bit of a... It looks like it's another cylinder or circle in there. Another cog in the robot. And we'll add little teeth to that by going with a little bit of a horizontal line. And then, uh, there we go, I'll add a few more details. Keep in mind, folks, that I do have books online that can help you in learning how to draw. There are uh, three books out there at the moment. There's one which is learning how to draw basic shapes. There's the other one which is about light and shadow, so you can understand how all these shadowy parts work together with, with light reflection and all that. And there's another one which is my portfolio that links to every one of the drawings that I've done to date, or any one of the good ones, I think. And so in that uh, iPad book, all you need to do is click on the a little button and it brings you straight to the video and you can watch it directly from your iPad. And these, sadly, are iPad books only, so uh, you can only get them on the iTunes store or the iBook store for your Mac and or iPad. And no, I, don't, I cannot produce content of that kind for other devices. Um, they have video and animation and whatnot, so I can't actually, uh, I can only create that for Apple products. I apologize to everyone else. That being said, Christmas is coming. It is now uh, December 16th, 2014. Christmas is approaching, so ask for an iPad, baby! Get an iPad mini or something. You know? iPad mini is not all that expensive. It, it would be your only Christmas present, for example. You, know, you can say, hey, mom and pop, or hey, dear loved one, I would like an iPad mini, and that would be my only present for the next you know, year. <laughs> and then you can get my books and learn to draw some more. That being said, YouTube is here, always available. So let's draw these nice horizontal lines for the abdomen all the way down, and we'll reproduce these on either angled edge here. So this side here, and we try to match those previous lines. And we'll put some on the right side here too. Once again, trying to match those lines, but we're changing the angle here a little bit. We want them all to slant towards the back. And then we'll color in the chrome kind of effect here, or metallic. Effect. I keep saying chrome. I think I'm obsessed with chrome. And I don't mean the web browser. I mean the metal. I mean the metal. Alright, let's color this in. Add a bit of shading here. Color this part in as well with a little bit of a reflection there in the white spot. Color the back leg nice and dark so it goes beyond and behind. And then we'll add some detail to this hand. Okay, so let's go over here. We'll create some new little finger elements and a little bit of shading to this part here, to his arm. We're going to erase a little bit of nice little white reflections. That's what those little pencil erasers are really good for, creating those reflections on robots and cars and other reflective areas. Reflective pieces. And all right, we'll uh, make this a little bit darker here for his visor. Nice and black on either edge. There we go. Amazing. And we'll work on his guns here. So he's gonna probably be shooting from this arm. Pop, pop, pop. And the other one is about to shoot us, right? The right arm is about to shoot us, but he's already shooting his left arm off. Pop, pop, pop. Or zap, 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 or pew, 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 whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever you want to use as a sound effect. Anyway, they raised those hand lines in there. We're going to color this part in real quick. Brr. How fast that was? That, was it? that wasn't even fast forward. I just did it. I just drew that fast. No, not really. I had some lines here. There we go. A little bit of toothed edge to that. Put this nice and black in there. There you go. And now we'll work on the background. So I want sort of, you know, the arena scene in that episode 
uh, episode two, I think, of Star Wars is the arena scene with all those flying buggy things, and a host of these bunch of these a whole bunch of these robots just walk in and start blasting away at Jedi. And so um, we're gonna add this wall back here. We sort of cracked and old and sandy, but not so we'll add these little crack lines. And um, it's like this. Yeah. I've got a little bit of a just woke up voice. However, I've been up for a bit, so I don't understand where this voice is coming from. But why not? And we'll add this these vertical lines here. These are the columns that attach to a little base down here. Um, and we'll keep those lines very light. We want the robot, the battle droid on top, to be much more uh, contrasty than the background. So notice as I color this, I need to color that really lightly. And then add only really lighter shades in there and make that just a little bit darker maybe. But I never want it to get as dark as the character itself. The character is the main element, so the background needs to be very light. All right, we trace that just a little bit. And we got our little entrance there. And we're going to ruggedize this uh, top line. Pull this down like that. And then a little bit of a shading effect here. Just like this. Age up the wall a little bit. There you go, look at that, it's coming along. This drawing we can nearly sign and say we're done. But we have a little bit more to do here. And shading lines here, and then this side too. Logically there should only be one side that's shaded, but you know what, this is my drawing, I do what I want to do. I'll add some uh, support struts here underneath this column. You know, it's just a little bit of detail and adding the shading to be like the columns. And I'll do these vertical lines here. There you go. All right. A few more cracks. What else can we do? Line here, make this a little bit darker. And pull a few lines down for effect, aging this building up a little bit. If you like, you could add some shrubbery in there, some veins, or not veins, but vines. Vine is quite different than vein. Um, veins would be sort of disgusting. And vines are pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. We'll add a few uh, ground lines over here. Let's give that depth a little bit. A little bit of a depth to that drawing. And a lot of bit more detail to this hand, color that in so it detaches itself from the wall a little bit. I find that the, the hand sort of loses itself in the background, so we'll add a few more details here. Just like that, and of course because the lasers are producing a flash, there's a muzzle flash there, muzzle flash. That means that I'm going to have to color the back of these cannons here with a little bit of a gradient, which means that the back will be darker than the front. A little bit of a gradient like that. Now I'll add a reflection here with my pencil eraser and retrace those lines that I lost. Just like this. All right, all right, all right. And that's that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this drawing. There's my signature. We'll see you next time in another episode of Drawing with Paolo.